Yeah. In this video, I want to show you how to sidechain a third party plugin like this one here. Why this is important is because the normal way you do it with FL Studio plugins like FL Studio Fruity Limiter, that's not the way you do it with this. So it's a different way. It took me time to get it. And now that I got it, I want to show it to you. It's not just this ProQ4, you can do it with any other dynamic plugin that can sidechain, but let's just use the ProQ4. But before we jump into the video, if you have not subscribed, please to help us grow this YouTube channel, subscribe. So this is the ProQ4 we want to use for this video. For those using other doors, you can watch it too so that you can learn a thing or two in FL Studio. So sidechain this to this. That's this lead sound, sidechain it to this pad sound. Come here, sidechain to this track. What I want to actually want to do is to do dynamic. Look at this arrow here, click it, and you say make dynamic. Let's go to dynamic first. But once this compression to be triggered by the lead arrow here, arrow also, yeah, click it, it opens up. Then you click on this place, this one here, so the side chain, you say here. Can you see? I hope my mouse is not blocking it. This one, this one here, that's for side chain. So I'll click it. If it's still not working, I'll have to take the threshold down. And it will still not work. So this is where many people stop. <laughs> they get confused and say, this thing is not working. But this is what you do. Come to this place that looks like setting something here. Click it. Then you come to this other part that looks like settings to the second one. Then you come to, this is settings. You come to processing. You click it. And if you come down, you see stereo side chain. It's already enabled, so what you need to do is to move it to one because it's just one stuff that is side chained here. If it's two, maybe you might have to check which one, if it's one or two. This one is just one. Nothing is here, but I want to just side chain this one to this point here. Side chain to this channel. So I'll enter it and see how many we have now. Two, you see? If I start chain three things, it will still go in that order. So we'll put it one there, one. Let's go back to the plugin. Come to the plugin back. Let's watch it. You notice that it only comes down when the signal comes in. Let me look for some way. Okay, so what I did is I just push the threshold down. It should be very obvious now. Pad or string sound just almost disappears. <laughs> but that's not what I want. That's not what I want. So that's how to do it in FL. If you did not get it, please just go back and watch. So when you want to side chain to dynamic compression, multiband, and all those stuff, uh, third party plugins, I discovered that that is how to do it. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, instead of using dynamic, let's use spectrum. All right, click here and say clear dynamic. And I will say make spectrum. How did I do it? All right, click here and I go to make spectrum. Remember, you have to activate the side chain. It's active already.
So this spectrum is pushing the positions in the EQ space of the guitar. It's what it's pushing from the pad string sound. It's creating space for itself. That space that the lead guitar occupies in the EQ, that's what it's creating in the pad sound. So this one, even if you do it very hard, there's still something coming out. You see, this one is more transparent. I will do more videos on how to use this Pro-Q4 because there are lots of videos on it, but most people don't use it in FL Studio, so stick around. You can also listen to the sidechain, what's going on in the sidechain stuff, look at this stuff. If the sidechain is not on and I'm listening, I'll be hearing the two of them. But when I put on the sidechain and I hit this listen button, able to hear what is going on with the sidechain stuff here and there's also attack and release if i want to go into a full video on this pro q4 that's when i'll go into that if you like to see that please let me know too what i have on the pad sound is just um imager and an eq then for the guitar i have an eq and valhalla that may take you years to get <laughs> but you just got it like that <laughs> it took me a long time to get that now you can do it too we did this recording in our studio in asaba Ruto studios if you want the best sound in nigeria you go there fact no jokes like this video if you like it if you haven't already subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a thing when we drop new videos i'm El proto this all one pro studio that's it